Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Jetstream Sam, Middle Gear Revengeance, blah blah blah. I've only got 120% health, and yet... Um, I think I got all the power-ups that I was supposed to get, but... Uh, I've only got 120%, and they... Either IGN mislabeled something? Well, at any rate... They keep their strategy guy keeps tell us, tells me to keep using the avalanche, which is why wall jumping. Okay, yeah, that's one of the more effective things that I've seen. But um, no, I, I kind of feel like um, I kind of feel like I should have 130 health and 100 and, uh... Yeah, see, that's more like how I expected it. But the, uh, I feel like it, I should have gotten two, uh, uh, three health power-ups and two, uh, never mind, I'm, I'm misreading something. I'm almost positive I got all the power-ups, I'm only 120%, so if we get to the end of this whole thing and I'm at 190, well, shame on me, I suppose. There are no stealth kills. Would you please get the damn ghetto? Because now I'm taking all this ridiculous levels of damage just from the freaking cameras. I still haven't finished off that camera? I will get some, I think. I think I will get some. Jeez. Every enemy in the game is a huge threat to me in this mode. I'm a... I'm parrying, you fucking game! It's like, God damn it, game, I'm parrying everything. So now I've got no health. Um, so we can all enjoy this beep, beep, beep noise for a bit. Uh, I'm not going to get another power up until I ride up an elevator. So let's see how far I can get up an elevator when I've got no health at all. Oh, never mind. So. Well, now that I got that, I need to look up the next one. Sorry, I thought this was going to take longer. Based on the descriptions, I thought it would take longer before I got to it. I thought it was at the top of an elevator ride where we'd have to fight a million enemies. Uh, okay. Picking up the upgrade calls for... What? See, sometimes they just don't bother to describe... Sometimes they highlight it and pull it out, and sometimes they don't. So, uh, kill the, explore the elevator and get some stuff. I, maybe something's changed since they did this, because... There'll be, uh, data storage, which I don't think I care about when we get to the top. And then a VR mission. Very top of the elevator shaft, do not open the shutter door. Okay, fine. 
so we gotta go up an elevator. Something, something seems to be off with their directions because of, oh. Every battle is a boss battle for me now. Okay, I guess I had a very brief window to grab that power up, which I missed. As long as you get all the ghettos, you do okay. Problem is, you don't always get the ghettos. Alright, so we can resume our quest to go up an elevator. Okay, so... This is World Marshal Headquarters, guys. Just what I was looking for. An elevator. A freight elevator is my true goal in life. Got repair nano paste. I got that thing to call. I, I'm not 100% sure I'm supposed to be calling it yet. Get some other stuff first. It seemed like there was something hidden down here, but I guess that's just decorative. And when I get to the top of the elevator, there should be uh, exciting VR missions. And um, I think I'm going to be fighting some gorilla robots. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, I also wasn't thinking that I could get punished for sending down my controller for like a fraction of a second there, but apparently this wasn't a good time to do that. Some pretty cool moves. Why don't you give me some credit here? What the hell? As soon as I say that, I start screwing up. What happened to you guys dropping little health bonuses? That was better. Oh, the freaking hollow points. Also, consider bringing guns. I guess lots of enemies in this game have guns, I'm being silly. You little... Yeah, you guys. I just wanted to warn you, robot friend. No, I lost my chance for ghetto. Which I may really come to regret. I probably don't want to have this equipped right now because I probably need to start stockpiling. This is only one enemy. I should eventually be able to like figure out how to parry its stuff. Ghetto would be great here, but nope, not in the cards. We drop health, maybe? No? Okay. 
Would have been a would have been a nice uh, would have been appreciated if you had done it. I'm glad that that force field disappeared so that I could have a solid wall there. This thing isn't going anywhere. Despite the presence of an this action thing isn't going anywhere. Did you say nerd? Because I did in reference to this elevator. Ha. There's the data storage, which is kind of... I knew there'd be one around here. It was not the thing I was the most concerned about making sure I found, obviously. Ah, crap. Can I go back? I'm not sure that I finished searching here. Got that lovely you are dying noise. Okay, never mind. There's no place to go over there. That's the area that I thought I hadn't searched. I hadn't searched it because you can't. Okay. Corners of the world over here. Doesn't seem to be anything useful in them. Is that a repair and interface? It was an electrolyte pack. Expecting there to be a VR mission around here. There we go. And I was really hoping there would be a uh, nano repair paste here so I could use the all exploit the VR mission thing to stock up. Am I starting at 13%? Yep, I am. <laughs> what a great battle. You will die. You will die. You will die. Attack you was a Oh wow. You could fall to death here. The fact that the guys climbed up off the edge suggested to me that there was something below. Or it was just a fun little optical effect and that uh, the end of the arena was there. But no. <laughs> ah! And then you die anyway. Oh, more guys are... Okay, so this is a knock everyone off the edge battle. Gotcha. This could be fun. I I may end up hating this. Depends on what enemies spawn because he, as, as you saw there, more enemies are showing up. Okay, so I probably should have gone. I probably should have used my super move to go flying off the edge, but definitely more. It's not just these three guys. You've got to deal with more. Now, I don't know if I get anything for winning this, which might make it a good one to not bother to, to fight. Even with these guys, you just get locked forever. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know if I win anything for beating this one, but now, like, I've full cleared the stupid... For I, I'm not going back and doing the VR missions for riding because I didn't even find all of them. 
but um What? I didn't really intend to do that. Um, so they stunned me and knocked me over. They, they're they knocking me over way better than I can knock over any of them. But I tried to do Zondetsu, whatever, and nothing. And I was pretty sure I had a full meter. Oh, how did that not send him? How did I get sent over? Why does why do they have like no knockback and I have infinite knockback? Oh man, you know, I didn't realize how powerful Raiden was until I started playing this game with anyone else and finding out that they're terrible. Come on, game. I finally figured out how to like get some kind of knockdown on them and boom. Oh, I sure hope I get something for eventually beating this. I'm, I, it won't even let me run away. You get any... You, you don't charge right in. Those guys just shoot you with rockets. And yes, they are going to pull their fucking rocket launchers back out if you step away a little bit. It's, it's really annoying. I'm... I guess it's a good thing I did this DLC last because it'd be, I'd be hard pressed to have the. I don't know that I would be inclined to try the Blade Wolf one if I had tried this one first. I would be really frustrated. I'm not doing the backflip, which I guess I should be doing, but. Even when I get knocked down, I skid like crazy. Like, the, they've got magnetic boots, and we're on a metal floor that's been covered with, like, ice or... I don't know. It's not making any sense, now. Oh, wow, they actually are managed to shoot each other for once. I didn't even know that was a thing. No fucks given! And that guy's still up? Ah, 
I see the minute I, I tried to get a third hit on somebody. The one time I was like, okay, stop doing the Benny Hill and freaking actually attack someone, immediately die. Oh, you guys are out of taunt range? Is that what happened? I'm really going to hate this DLC. I... 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 You're not even learning anything at all about Jetstream Sam. It's just like, I am wandering around. I am going to kill people. And presumably he eventually gets here and like has a conversation where he decides to join Desperado for some fucking reason. That not oh, I really wanted that to knock him off the edge. No, no! I was double jumping and dashing, doing everything, every fucking button on the controller in the direction of not falling off the edge there. Ugh. Sif system engaged. I don't give a crap because I if I don't knock that guy off the edge I have like another 20 minutes before I even get to the end game I'm starting to get really mad now I need to like now it's just like I don't want to stop because if I, f I finished one DLC today and if I finish the other one then I'm just done with the game it's not a good sign that I want to be done with this game but now I do But you have 20 times the knockback of any of your enemies. I mean, maybe I should be trying to, like, finish them off with damage rather than knocking them off the edge, but... It doesn't really seem that way, does it? It seems like they're pretty strongly encouraging you to... That one. They're all armored, so I never get any freaking cool bonuses for stealing their souls. <laughs> Shit, damn it. It's nice that everyone blew up at the end there, but. Oh. No, no, what? Come on, that's bullshit. It's like, even, like, if I desperately, as soon as I get close to the edge, desperately try to get back, as soon as I get one attack off, even then, sometimes it's just like, nah, you don't have time. Is this guy? I really needed him to go off the edge there. Oh, great. I got worried about the death from hit points, and then that p happens now. I mean, that I. I guess I don't know this, but since no new enemies are showing up, I figured that's the end. But maybe. Trying a different attack, maybe that was more likely to knock him off the edge. Ah, 
Nice to know that every hit he does, does more than 10% damage, since I had 10% damage when I got stunlocked and he killed me with the next hit. It's a regular enemies, guys. I mean, they're not the wimpy enemy, the super wimpy enemies. They're armored and he's got the samurai blade, but... How much time have I got left in this video? Have I gone over just from this stupid VR mission? I may have done. No, not yet, but close. If I win this thing, I certainly gotta call it a video. This is the second of five VR missions. I accidentally spoiled what one of them is, and it probably won't be as bad as this, but... No? Yes. Whoa. You know what? The other guy's coming. I can't. I can't stop. I gotta keep up the Benny Hill nonsense. That was a mistake. Well, oh, now you're throwing grenades. What the hell, man? Okay, just don't fall off the edge, GG. They don't seem to have very good counters for your current. For this. Not doing a whole lot to them, but it's doing some damage and they're not countering it. They don't have like giant gecko Kevin Seven Sullivan double stomps they can do. Which means I get a terrible score because of the time it took, but this will eventually win me the battle. Oh, fuck. No! No! God damn, that was close. I'm really worried about, uh... Whoa, whoa. That's it, right? No dwarf... Like, no dwarf, because no giant cowbot. <laughs> got a combat rank A. It only took me 800 tries. But we got it done. The main issue there being that there was no nano repair paste in this room for me to just constantly respawn. Which would have made, uh... Oh no, never mind. There is nano paste. I thought there was just electrolytes. There might be electrolytes here, yeah. Okay, well that puts me in a significantly better mood, because as we've all learned, um, I'm not, I'm not completely non-cognizant of it. Uh, my success comes when I have lots and lots of nano paste and can just fucking get killed, 
and keep getting back up. Chumbawamba styles. Um, in their famous song, I get killed and I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. So when we come back next time, uh, I will have used the VR, start a VR mission, quit VR mission cheese trick to get some health items. And um, we're going to keep banging our heads against this DLC. Catch you next time.